Good morning, everybody. Today is May 12th, 2022. It's about 63 degrees and it is cloudy today. Now, I don't think there's really a chance of rain, though we'll probably get some more tomorrow. Seems we've been getting rain every weekend lately. Um, I had a video go up yesterday, which was a review of the Ryobi chainsaw. Hope you enjoyed that. And then part two of our snow hike through Valley Forge will be coming out on Saturday. Uh, we actually just filmed a, another release for another product review, a Sun Joe uh, wood chipper, which I used after cutting down some trees with the Ryobi chainsaw. And that'll be coming out next week. That's already scheduled and uploaded. And then after that, you can expect some Cape Cod videos, um, which is pretty exciting. Other updates too, we are heading out to the, or returning to the White Mountains in two weekends from now, the 20th through the 22nd of May. Um, no super hikes this time. We're just doing a tour of New Hampshire over the weekend and are gonna take the auto loop, which just opened up on May 14th up to Mount Washington. Uh, Pepper has never been there before. And uh, Maverick of course has been there with myself when we hiked the Presidential Traverse. Hopefully my buddy doesn't get, you know, flashbacks or post-traumatic stress flash flashbacks. That was, a, that was a pretty rough hike, I'll tell you. Definitely worth it. Got some birds chirping. <sighs> so looking forward to that as well. So a lot of stuff coming in through the pipe. You know, we don't normally go this way. Let's go check out this side for once. And we're gonna check out this meeting house, which you know, I've hiked through here so many times. I don't think I've actually gone up there before. So Matt, let's go check this out. Come on, bud. Let's go. And it's not too bad today, though it'll probably get washed up again this weekend with the rain. You're gonna go through the water? Come on. Now you're gonna use the blocks too. This is pretty awesome. There's a memorial over there. And this is the old meeting house, I guess. Or the site of the meeting house. And again, this is Frick's meeting house. Hence Frick's Run, which we were just on. I believe this is an old Quaker meeting house or the site of where one was. Come on, Mav. You're taking me out here. Yep, definitely a Quaker meeting house. So you can tell with um, Quakers, is in a Quaker service, if you've never seen one, everybody sits in a circle. And what happens is when you sit, you basically reflect and meditate and wait for the spirit to overcome you. And at that point, when it motivates you, you basically stand up and speak to the group. And that usually sometimes leads to dialogue. Um, obviously not just about religious stuff, but uh, a lot of different things. So pretty interesting. Well, we better get moving on. There is another active Quaker meeting house over I believe it's right outside North Wales, Pennsylvania, which is not far from here. 
uh, another one further down in Jenkintown, Pennsylvania. Quakers were a founding religion of here in Pennsylvania. Well, not a family, but a lot of them came over here. It's interesting too, when I was up in Cape Cod, what I didn't realize there was also migration from, I'm not sure if it was from Pennsylvania, which was probably the biggest area for Quakers in the United States in the early days, up to Cape Cod. Um, so there's a big Quaker movement that moved up there in the, I think it was the 19th century when it really started booming. Interesting religion. Anyway, a well, little bit different today, right? It's always good to check out new things. And go back across our little river here. Mav is super excited. And I think it's gonna be a pretty good hike. All right, well, I hope you enjoy these updates. And if you do, if you could click like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I will try to upload as often as I can. And uh, really enjoy seeing you guys in these videos. And we hope to see you in a future one. Um, and until then, you know what, get out there, make your own great outdoor adventures. And as always, take care.